So welcome back to Black Diamond Farm. So this morning we're gonna be working on some pasture, uh, the temporary pasture. Uh, with this, you know, we've been saving a lot on hay, uh, a lot on our own pasture. Uh, so it's, it's worked out really well for us. So today we're gonna to extend it even further up the hill. Um, so far we've done really well. I think uh, that'd be paddock number seven, I think we're gonna move into. So we've done pretty well with that. Uh, you can tell the cows are ready to come on out and they're ready to move, uh, but that's okay. They'll be just fine in there. So we're gonna get this thing moved. Gonna make a few changes this time. Something we've learned from trying to move them down at night. Uh, so I'll show you that here in just a second, but uh, it's kind of what we're gonna do. So one of the things we learned in this temporary pasture event uh, is that we cannot get the cows to funnel down as easy as one thought. Uh, so there's a stake down there, uh, right about in there, that we're going to bring it up to. So shorten off about 35 to 40 foot of this open area. Because this open area really makes it hard to uh, funnel them in at night, especially if they don't want to come in. As you can see how wide it is right now. Um, so we're going to reduce that by about 40 foot, redoing this, and then of course bring it up to the next section. Not near as rambunctious as I thought you guys would be. No, really. I figured you guys would be a little more rambunctious. Oh, there they go. Greener pastures are ahead. Greener pastures are ahead. It may not look like much, but going up that hill, it's like a 70 foot incline, I swear. At least, at least 50. But it's, once you walk it about 35 times, man, it sure wears you out. Yeah, that point when you know your calves are doing something weird. Yeah, I think he's seen it too. Had to go over and check them out.
could be the very last of Hang 2021. Uh, it all depends on the weather. You know, we put down a few acres, put down this little uh, one acre triangle or whatever it is. Uh, put down a couple other places. Uh, so, a nice place, real nice view. But, uh, yeah, that could be it. I guess we'll wait and see what Mother Nature gives us. We had our first frost this morning. Uh, so, I guess we'll wait and see what we get. Um, I'm not sure if it frosted in everywhere. It wasn't a hard, hard frost, but uh, it definitely, it definitely frosted pretty good. So we'll see what we can get. Uh, I was already planning on mowing this anyways before the frost, but it's even more reason to hammer it home now. So we're gonna get folded up here, get back home. So it's the next morning now. Uh, today we're getting the cows let out this morning here. And then we're going to be uh, going to Ray K. As you can hear, they're all a little vocal this morning. I'm not really quite sure why they now are going to open green pastures. I'm not really quite sure what their issue is this morning. Oh, here comes little man. One of the little men. Oh, the other one's in the back. They spend less time mooing and more time walking. They get to pasture a little faster. And never fails. Chloe taking up the rear. Back there hanging out. Come on, Coco. Guy's always taking up the rear. Another place done and raked. Looks good. Stuff turned out pretty good. Has some pretty decent moisture in it still. Uh, feels good. Some of it's a little drier than others. And you see kind of like these places where it's a little bit browner, but still has some pretty good moisture in it here this morning. So we're gonna go ahead and get hooked onto the baler. Uh, put this rake here, we're gonna get hooked onto the baler and uh, get everything bailed up. Out getting bales off this morning. We gotta get these done uh, before before it rains, 
Uh, that's the only bad thing, you know. We have to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, get them done. Uh, it's supposed to get pretty soggy this week is what they're claiming anyway. I guess we'll see what actually happens. Uh, we don't want these bales getting wet out here. So, get this one picked up here. Get back moving, going back towards town. Unfortunately, it's early morning, so Kaylee's sleeping. Beck's sleeping. Uh, just uh, probably getting close to 7 o'clock now. So, just kind of trying to get these things all wrapped up here before we get them under cover anyways. Not worry about wrapping them. We'll wrap them uh, later on. Just got to get them off the field right now. Uh, get them off the field. Get them, get them in the barn. Uh, these ones aren't as high as moisture as some of the other ones we've made. Uh, these will probably be in the low, I'm just going to take a stab in the dark and say low 30s. Just Some of them might be a little higher, but I wouldn't say much higher than that. You know, as we're driving into this uh, sunrise this morning, beautiful sunrise on a nice fall morning. Uh, something that's not talked about enough is farm safety when you're out on the road. Uh, it's not necessarily for the farmer, it's for the other people driving. Uh, you know, we, we of course as a smaller operation have smaller equipment, but still when we're pulling the mower or whatever, we're still wired. Uh, these guys that have big combines, uh, and some of these guys are pushing, you know, 12 to you know, 15 feet wide going down the road, you know. They're not trying to be pains in the butt, but they got a job to do too, and you gotta let these people go. And you know, if you can get over, uh, find a driveway, back up into somebody's driveway, because they're not out. Like I said not out there to be a pain. They just think we all have a job to do. We all have to get it done um, as quickly as possible. Because if not, you're dealing with the weather, and nobody wants to come by corn in the snow. And nobody wants to be, you know, doing any of the fall harvest in the snow so if you see somebody come with their four-way flash or something you know it's a piece of agriculture equipment just move over um just give, give them give them an extra foot you know because that extra foot could mean the world to them uh make sure you're giving them and don't stop the biggest one don't stop next to a mailbox you know all these people you know i've been down this road a hundred times as every other farmer has it never fails somebody stops on the opposite side of a mailbox well yeah, you gave us extra room, thank you, but, you know, now i got to contend with this mailbox, and I really don't want to knock somebody's mailbox down, because I'm stuck putting up a new mailbox. So, you know, it's just my little informational thing in this video as we're coming down to town here. As you see, everybody's going to work this morning. Uh, you know, we got our headlights on, our four-way flashers, you know, our SMB on the back, you know, just everything we can to do to be a little bit safer, you know, we try to do. So... Just watch out for them agricultural vehicles out there. You see here, starting early this morning, getting bales off the field. Called in a favor to Grandma and said, hey, can you make me some toast? That's what I got. I got myself two things of toast. And right there is that elderberry jelly that we made over the summer. So, and it tastes wonderful. So, it's always great to have good family, whether that's Beck and Kaylee helping me or grandma or any of the ants or whatever but uh big thanks to grandma on this one uh for getting uh toast made up for me before i had to all right it's the next morning now uh we don't usually wait this long to wrap our bales usually we're pretty quick on the ball uh last night we had a severe thunderstorm roll through um with that brought in some torrential downpour to, to say the least um we got stuck in the middle of feeding during it uh, i did not film it uh otherwise cameras would have been waterlogged everything else uh i do want to give a big shout out to frog tog um we have some frog tog uh stuff here uh i have a jacket and a set of pants uh unfortunately i did not have the pants on last night i only had the jacket on and well my upper body stayed dry the rest of me not so much so if you're ever in the market for something, I know they're not exactly the cheapest in the world, but I tell you what, their quality is great. Uh, they, they're lightweight, 
perfect. I actually have mine down here today as we're going to wrap because everything was pretty wet this morning. But I uh, strongly suggest you go out and get yourself a pair. Whatever you got to do, get, get a jacket at least. The jackets are great. has a hood, uh, pull string, zipper, buttons, the, the whole nine yards. Keep you dry. Uh, I, I don't know how camo wise, but mine's a blue and white. I don't care what color it is at this point. It kept me dry. That's all that matters. This morning here, we got to take off our bale spear that's on the 5140 get it off so we can go get the bale wrapper put on it so that way then uh, we can start getting these bales wrapped that we made uh, and get them done they haven't heated up at all it's been stayed pretty cool they still smell good they haven't heated up yet so we're gonna get them wrapped here this morning so that way we can get them done and put away Yeah, I said last night when I said it rained pretty good. Well, I just scraped this the other day. And you can kind of see what it's back like. A couple of these bozos just want to hang out down here, evidently. Oh well, clean up a little bit of grain. There's Coco. I'll arrest them some, just hanging out, eating some of the hay that I dropped, taking another partial bale up to them. Looks like uh, Cole's getting a bath from mom. It definitely put some water down. So, hey, it's all part of fall. Thanks for watching today, guys. A uh, couple few days here making hay, just some other odds and ends things are going, that are going on. Uh, of course, it absolutely poured last night. It, uh, it really put some water down really quick when we were out trying to feed a bale. That, you can see them guys up there eating right now. Uh, it put a lot of water down. I've never seen it rain. I don't want to say I didn't see it rain like that before, but I've never seen that much water coming down off the hill before. Uh, I know it's probably happened, but I've just never seen it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks, guys.